Wait, did I get? No, oh, you're here. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, oh, cool. just making sure. Yeah, and I already have preg. I already have preg bot ready to go. Uh, <laughs> I figured for I figured for those wondering that it, it made more sense to do it this way is uh, yeah, not to make yeah. sure you're equal spotlight and stuff. But anyway, I'm a I'm gonna stop. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stop talking, and I think whenever, uh, whenever I think, uh, there we go. We're starting to get people pop up. <laughs> Sweet, hello, people. But I mean, I guess uh, whenever the hosts are ready, I guess we can. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, I am also this. ready. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sonic and Knuckles Show Q and A. Well, hey. <laughs> We'll be asking yeah. questions. The audience can ask questions and just talk about the show itself. So I guess we can make a start on easy questions. Uh, for anyone who's new to this, um, you know, new to the Sonic and Knuckles show, tell us who you are and what do you do for the series? I guess, I guess I'll start. <laughs> Go ahead. You're the boss. Uh, I mean, yeah. Hi, Freggy. Uh, I am the creator of the show. Um, I do all the animation, I do uh, some of the writing, and other stuff, like find voice actors, such as... <gasps> uh, yes, I uh, guess it's up to me first. All right, cool. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Josh Addison. Hi. Um, <laughs> most, uh, most of y'all in here might uh, know me for some of the stuff I do over here at Revolution, but I'm not going to, you know, delve onto that too too much because that's not really relevant. But uh, I'm also uh, the voice of um, Knuckles for the Sonic and Knuckles show. And uh, for those uh, that, and funny enough, I'm also one of the moderators for the Discord server for those, <laughs> which is hard not, which hard not to see the irony in that given, uh, how Knuckles is in the show, but uh, I digress. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad to be here as a guest this time rather than a host. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I guess um, if I'm next, uh, hello, I'm Steven, aka Hyper Voice Acting. Um, I voice um, Eggman in the show as well as um, Eggboy, best character in the entire franchise. Oh, God. Fair. 100% accurate. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Uh, I'm Andrew, also known as the Imagine B uh, on YouTube. Uh, I voice Sonic, and i um, also done a few bit characters in the show here and there, including uh, I think the pastor in episode six. And I was also, you know, Bernard, the best pet mm-hmm. for one for one wine. <laughs> <laughs> or, hey, it was an important line. The entire episode it hinged was. on that line. Absolutely. Oh, no, let's not forget. Let's not forget the uh, the most important uh, bit part: the pizza guy in uh, Hotel Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, wow! Wow! I thought that was John. That was the pizza guy. I'm. I don't think I was the pizza guy. Were you the pizza guy? I don't know. Somebody was. I don't. Let, let, let's no, shout I'm pretty out sure it was John. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> shout out to John as well. I I am so dumb. Uh, You're fine. Uh, John is the person that also voices big for us. Yeah, I, see, my, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. My brain thought, my brain thought that he sound that he sounded like you in that episode. But also, <laughs> also, I've had, I've had my own mother mistake me for Andrew's voice on numerous occasions. So, uh. <laughs> uh, which is pretty, which is, not, I'm not even kidding for those. <laughs> that, that, that's fine. That's relatable. My my mom does that a lot as well with like some of the voice stuff I've shown her. For sure. Awesome. So, Tomato Ghost, do you have any questions? Uh. Yeah, I might as well kick this whole thing off. So, um, I guess to lay a foundation, given that it's going to be the first question about the show, uh, I was just curious how the inception of this began, uh, taking you know this, the solid characters we know and love and throwing them into what is a weirdly grounded setting with the whole apartment living, but then just the surreal plots that happen. Like, how did that beautiful contrast come about? So... Me and my friend Khan, we always wanted to make a sitcom style animation. We had a few ideas. And then one day I was, I think I was sat in like the KFC drive thru or something. Of course. I was like, oh, we, sh- we should make a, a sitcom on Sonic, on Sonic and, and Co. And originally it was going to be like the Sonic Boomcast all living in an apartment. The reason it's an apartment as well is because 
if it's an apartment and it's that sort of setting, uh, it's a lot easier to animate. <laughs> <laughs> and it's relatable. <laughs> to, be, to be completely honest. Mm. And also, I think there's just some funny scenarios you can get there, some, some funny original scenarios. Um, and then for like the setting, um, it kind of evolved over time. So originally it was going to be Sonic and Knuckles living in an apartment and then there's Eggman sort of doing like petty crimes and that's <laughs> like what the fighting against rather than these big grandiose things that you see in the games um, mm. so you see that in the first episode where Eggman just opens a restaurant and it's kind of bad um, <laughs> and then I guess it evolved from there and then in the second episode we had Tails and the 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 the, the whole premise of Tails like being kind of um, a drug addict was that it's kind of like the antithesis to what his character actually was is like you, you would never expect him to do that it's the complete opposite thing um so then we sort of took that idea and did it with the other characters and uh yeah that's that's about yeah. it yes oh, that's a good answer <laughs> so i have a question of um the animation so how long does it take to animate one episode <laughs> uh on average four months from storyboard to completion. Um, wow. Depends on the episode, of course. Uh, more simple episodes like the the latest episode. Um, that one will probably like three months. Uh, and then there's more complicated episodes. The more characters there are in an episode, the longer it takes to animate, basically. Mm. Yeah. Margos, got another question? I mean, I was actually about to ask a follow up for that question because you sort of dabbled into like complicated. Wh- which is, would you say, is like the single episode where you, that took the longest was the most strenuous? Ooh. Um, it would have probably been uh, a night to remember because <laughs> there's a lot of different settings in that. That is, that is a fun one, that However, actually, yeah. Nice. The next episode is definitely the, mo- the most complicated. Ooh. Eat. Just a little bit of a hint. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of characters in that one and a few different settings. That's, that's yeah, it's taken a long time this next one. <laughs> wink wink, nudge, nudge. But I'm sure it'll definitely be worth it. I'd <laughs> say so, yeah. <laughs> so I have a question question for you, you know, for the voice actors. So how did you get involved? What was your audition process like? Um I think I just saw a posting on Twitter and I sent a sample in to Friggy's email and they really liked my take and I got hired on. Mm-hmm. Um, as for me, um, I was initially brought on board because the uh, the original actor that they had for Eggman was like preoccupied with a bunch of other things. So I was asked to be kind of like their understudy and that eventually just led to me just taking on the role full time. Hmm. Oh, wow. Mine is, uh, and my story is a little more wild. Um, <laughs> uh, let me find the vanilla way of putting it. <laughs> uh, the short version is um, the previous uh, voice actor for him was uh, let go for reasons I won't get into. And uh, and then just by pure happenstance, I, uh, Freggy just reached out to me in a DM. Nice. Uh, Cause, uh, we had like, you know, we had, we like, we already, we had like knew of each other beforehand already. <laughs> and, uh, and if I recall, and if I recall correctly, like it was literally like right in the middle of like the search for like a new voice for knuckles. And I literally just sent them a whole bunch and I literally just, uh, sent a bunch of samples. It was mostly just a bunch of random stuff I had like worked on. And, uh, I believe the th- if I recall correctly, the thing that apparently sold y'all was is uh was a little something that I can't necessarily say here because I don't want Sega of America to yell at us. So I'm gonna keep the family <laughs> friendly. So <laughs> and uh and the title of the video was called A Whole Bag of Jelly Beans. <laughs> and it was uh and it was my and it was my and it was my knuckle and it was um my knuckles as a joke, literally just reciting, literally just reciting like my own version of uh, the meme that that's from. Oh, there and, you go. <laughs> and uh, 
Like my, like it was literally just a, like a sort of a joke thing that I just came up with stoned one day. And like my, my friend, <laughs> my friend, Eli literally like, uh, like made the models for it and everything. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and so I could technically verifiably say my first, uh, professional voiceover gig was, uh, was, uh, launched from a freaking meme. <laughs> And that was the vanilla version call, of huh? that. Yeah, that's the vanilla yeah. version. The 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 uh, uh the not as the not as Revo friendly version is uh, much longer and much more complicated. And I'm yeah. using keep it at that. Yeah, that's <laughs> just beautiful. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> I mean, it worked. I, um, I, haven't been, I haven't been fired yet, so it worked. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, I I really like uh, making the characters fit their character in the show and obviously there's a, there's a, there is an element of the character sounding what they sound like right but I don't know I heard yeah. I heard that uh, that song that you did was it a song no it wasn't was it a song I can't remember I think I I think there was like something I I know I but in any I case I, in any case um, yeah, yeah. I heard that and I was like yeah I could imagine our Knuckles our rendition of Knuckles uh, <laughs> doing this so it just felt yeah. perfect, yeah. Yeah, I think I know what you're um, talking about. Yeah, sorry, for, sorry for cutting you off. I think I know what you're talking about. It was a, I think it was like a joke cover I made of a ghost pumpkin soup, as I recall. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there was a few things, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. And then I referenced the specific one that, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I believe we have a text question from Dodger. Oh. Uh, they would like to know what is your favorite Sonic media. Like series, movie, comics. Interesting, interesting question. I mean, I guess pick a favorite child. I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I generally do like the games, but as far as like outside Sonic media goes, um, I do find myself particularly enamored with the the IDW comics as of late, as well as like post reboot Archie. Like, I feel like that that is like an area of Sonic that had like a lot of untapped potential that unfortunately was brought to a close too soon but um yeah outside of those two instances i mainly just try to stick to the games you know not that i don't dabble in stuff like you know watching the movies and whatnot i just prioritize getting more invested in the games and comics than anything i think my my unpopular opinion here is uh go for it's, it it's got it's got to be sonic boom oh, <laughs> i love that show it's <laughs> a really wrong with that and you know, to be fair, I think you can see some inspirations from it in the show that, that we oh, do. Oh, one hundred percent. That was I got inspir. Sorry for. Sorry, I'm so sorry, sorry for interrupting. I I definitely had got. I definitely got vibes from that with some things you, with some of the things y'all come up with. <laughs> yeah, I just. Yeah, good. Uh, it's actually a tough choice outside of the games. Um. Yeah, it is like picking a favorite child. I, I think I Daddy. would. Oh no, no, no! You're going back in the box, uh, but. <laughs> Daddy. No, that's it. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm probably more of a comic person. Like IDW has been really good throughout like the vast majority of its run. Uh, but I started on like Archie years and years ago. Like I think when it was still like in its early days. Um, and I. Didn't read it for years, picked it back up probably in like 2009, 2010, and just read through the series and kept up with it and, until it died, you know, died its, died its death. And then we got IDW and I just hopped onto that. But Archie is just kind of like this weird, fun rabbit hole. Like it does have some really good bits in the back half of the series, but some of the old stories are just so odd and fun to go back and read sometimes because you're just like, yeah, they made this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Knuckles, uh, Knuckles just like has the. Actually, if you go to the Knuckles miniseries in particular, do you know? Do you guys remember the issue where like he and Julie Sue went on a date? Like just how weird the art was. Oh um, yeah, I, I show people that, and it's just it's so silly, and it's like, why? What is this? <laughs> is this, is this the one that has that? 
Sorry, just real quick. Like that issue, yeah. is it the one that had like that infamous panel of like Knuckles like dipping Julie yeah. kissing and you just see like the, the deformed vector in the background? Yeah, oh, and then one day he's dancing with like some ostrich lady and then like Mighty just has like some Shrek looking horns, like like bugle horns or whatever. He's like, yeah, I'm here. I exist. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, what did they do to him? I mean, oh, I feel like they could just sum up Mighty in general just being like, hi, I exist. Yeah. And also uh, the Mighty Lips meme. If you ever see like those weird lips he did, and those are so fun to like basically just attach to like any character out of context. And if you could get, if you could like integrate them into the panel well, it just looks hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've just given that a Google. That is surreal. Yeah. It, That's beautiful. <laughs> man, it, 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 Dang it, now you got me curious. I'm going to see this for myself. <laughs> I actually do want to go back and just read the badness of some of those early ones now. Um, but like my favorite old issue, I would say is probably like Mecha Madness. That one was really fun. Uh, and game was a blast. And then I would say getting into the newer stuff. Um, God, probably like the climax of like the scourge stuff, like Hedgehog Havoc and everything. Oh, that was a blast. Mm. Yeah, actually just uh, even going on my YouTube channel. I think I did like a dub of it years ago of just like that final portion of like the fight between Sonic and Super Scourge mm. and like empowering down. That was just such a fun scene to record for. Just to be like, how vain poppingly angry can I sound as like Super Scourge just blasting through trees in a super form. Oh, man. I think uh yeah I think I'm the only one hasn't answered yet. Uh favorite piece of Sonic Media Lord, yeah, that's yeah, it's, it's definitely hard for me to choose there. Um, because I mean, I like because I like most. Uh, I mean, because I like most of the stuff that's. Uh, I mean, because there's like loads of stuff that I like for for my own like varying reasons. Uh, as far as like my favorite piece of as far as as far as like you know as far as TV shows, um, I probably have I probably have to give it a tie between X, between Sonic X and Boom. <laughs> as, uh, this would would Boom in particular. I just all I just always just uh, like. Even if I didn't care for Rise, of, even if I didn't care for Rise of Lyric and didn't really stick around some of the other games in the Boone um, spinoff series, I really enjoyed the show a lot. And you know, I liked I liked how like you know you know they were like I always thought of it as kind of like a parody of like the main universe. You know, it's not really trying to take itself too serious. You know, like <laughs> like all the I mean, I feel like I mean, I felt like the meta jokes kind of like should have given that as a clue for some people, but. Uh, you know, that, that's, I mean, like, and then like, so, and then with, um, Sonic X, I, I loved a lot growing up probably cause, um, I mean, it was like the closest thing to like, uh, it, it was like the close, it was like the closest thing to something that like mirrored like the game canon that I was able, that I ever like saw and, uh, like Sonic Media, which is something I thought was soup, which is something I thought was really cool. I mean, I mean, I really did like with I really do like what they did with the move with uh, they've how they've found ways to do that with the movies as well. Um, and God, I mean, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, that was like the first um, Sonic show I grew up with. Uh, God, uh, so I mean, good. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that was my introduction to that was one of my introductions. I, I literally watched like they had reruns of it on like Toon Disney <laughs> when I was a kid and I had it on like regular rotation. I know um, I I'm Sonic made collection is what introduced me to the Archie comics. Um, <laughs> incidentally enough. And uh, I mean, I'll do like the IDW comics a lot. I like um, like I like, I like the I like the games. A lot. It's it's on. It's honestly it's honestly hard for me to pick because like I feel like I like most me most of the media for differing reasons. I got my own like legitimate gripes with some compared to others uh but uh you know but at the end of the at the end of the day it's like it's i'm overall been pretty satisfied at least in recent years with uh the stuff we have with the stuff that's been out I mean, that's that's why it's a long-lasting franchise with such range exactly you know yeah. like sega's not afraid to try some try something new and you know and you know whether whether people like that new thing can be left up for debate but at the end of the day you know there's still an effort you know what i mean yeah so true so tomato ghost want to bring an audience member up i was just about to suggest that very same thing yeah, and so I would like, hand. there is a hand so is it is that kaigo shall we have come on down 
Yes. If I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there, there we go. Hello. 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 How's it going? <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's nice, nice to meet you all. Yeah. Good to meet you too. Um, I guess in terms of questions I can really think of, um, based obviously on all like the locations and places where we've seen, like I guess the franchise. Anyway, um, what location or zone would you say would you say is your favorite? On uh, locations from Sonic or on Sonic, yeah. Um, hmm. I n- I don't know to be honest. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's going everyone thinking now. Like, cause it's yeah, like, really I can think cool. of like, say like favorite, favorite levels from a particular Sonic game, but like favorite level just in general, I don't know. That's pretty tough. Um, I'm going to say Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes. Oh, mm, that's a, good one. That's that's a nice one. That's a good one. Wholesome. Yeah. Uh, I'd go with Flying Batteries though. Oh, just, uh, oh, hey. The giant, yes. giant airship motif is fun and the music is just awesome. And it's just a fun level to play through. Mm. Agreed. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna say Sweet Mountain from Colors. Yeah, I did not expect that, but I'll go with it. Dang yeah, it. I can go with that. Yeah, it's very tasty. Choice, yeah, it's very tasty. <laughs> very, very tasty. Well, I also just, Delicious. It also just has one of my favorite music pieces in the game. Mm. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, favorite level from a Sonic game. Favorite level from a Sonic game. Ooh, man, that is a. Uh, I, I probably. I'm gonna go with the classics here. Um, Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic Two. Yeah, <laughs> classic. classic. Look, I can't tell. I like like that was like especially especially as a especially as a kid. I was just absolutely enamored by that. Just that. Just that whole. Just that whole world and just the uh, and mm-hmm. I mean the mu- the and like the, you know the theme for it is just untouchable. Not the not the theme. You get the idea. This the 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 back the. Um, the music for Chemical Plant Zone is. Uh, mm. I mean, I mean, I know actually. I mean, I'll also throw in. Um, so Ice Cap Zone is like an honorable mention, just because Ice Cap Zone from Sonic Three. Uh, the music, <laughs> especially. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I feel like yeah. If I there's like so many, but if I had to put it, bring it down to one, well, technically two, then that would be that. <laughs> Of course, the iconic music from Sonic Origins. How can we forget? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a cla- it's a I, haven't, ironically. I haven't fully heard it, but I just know like it's not. It doesn't, unfortunately, hold too much for Candle to like the original version. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not the original. <laughs> yeah, it's man, it's a classic, ironically. Uh, mm, yeah. yeah. But we have it playable on modern consoles without like copyright problems or whatever. So it's great. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No copyright in the universe. <laughs> I, love not, I love not getting sued. Done right. My favorite Don't pastime. All. My favorite pastime <laughs> is not getting a lawsuit. <laughs> I can just do that. Every, right. I do that every day. Well, thanks for the Why? question. I believe Thank everyone's... You very much. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, there I go. I see one other hand raised. Yes. Listening up. Yay. MB. Yay, MB. Hi, MB. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? How's, everyone? How's it going? How's everyone doing? Good. Doing? good. Excellent. Yeah, you're good. I have a very, very important question. Mm-hmm. Uh, what has been your favorite moment from the show? Either to work Ooh. on or just even seeing it after it's done. I mean, what's been so far? I don't want any spoilers yet. <laughs> but mm-hmm. as for what is available now, what is your favorite moment? Uh, oh, actually, I mine. I think it's between two. Um, going back to uh, the hotel habit, or uh, no, the exterminator episode. Um, just the whole Bernard thing, where I just had to pretend to be the hamster, and just <laughs> like having that very suave. Hey, Amy, you know, I was just thinking, I like you, you like me. What do you say we both, you know, uh, get together sometime, and then just running away. Um, <laughs> And just having that little unhinged rant about uh, Knuckles so very irresponsibly painting a picture of Mario on the apartment wall, and then there's that entire unhinged rant that I had following up. Those are some of my favorite parts to do. (laughs) God. uh, No, you can go first. I'm sorry. No, no, you're fine. Um, 
I'm not sure because like I because I like the Exterminator episode as well as well as the the Brain Swap episode. I think those are two in general. Those are both my favorite episodes of the series. But um, as far as like a favorite singular moment, um, I'd probably have to say one that always comes to mind is during the Knuckles clone episode where Eggman is calling Sonic, asking for help. And it's like, you wouldn't happen to know where they are coming from, do you? It cuts back to the machine making more Knuckles, and just Eggman just going, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we shall yeah, love you one. forever. <laughs> love you forever. Like, oh, God. How do I block someone in real life? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I think for me... Um, Oh my god! It's, <laughs> there, I've, there's been a lot of things that I've had a lot of fun recording, but I think one, I think one of the things right up there has to be um, with. Uh, I think I ha- has to has to be ep- has to be episode eight because, like, I um, just cause, to which for those which for those unaware, that was the episode where um, I, where I got to body swap with. Um, <laughs> Hyper's Eggman, and we uh, <laughs> and just, and I just ap- and I just absolutely love that I was just had a field day with the script that I was given for it. Like I had like, with um oh like uh <laughs> um I mean I know definitely an honorable mention has to go has to go to the whole brownie scene at the beginning because uh <laughs> just uh um just just over here like oh. I'm on fire. Um, I'm gonna get some gas. I'm gonna get. Um, don't worry. I'll, I'll put it out with the gasoline. We keep under the sink, and then I just <laughs> and then you just hear it explode. Very wise decision. Yes, very yeah. wise. And uh, it's and it's even funnier too because I have a couple alternate. There are a couple alternate takes of what I did for the improv for it. Because uh, there were um, uh, which um, one of them. Uh, one of them uh, to. Uh, I'll I'll censor for the I'll censor for the audience was just involved me screaming chaos H frick at the top of my lungs when I exploded, uh, and, <laughs> and another one was just like me just making it as blood curdling and loud as possible because the only context I had was that I was on fire. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, and, uh, and I know, but I think probably my favorite part of that has to be. Uh, <laughs> um what has to be um when um this has to be the entire segment that I had um as knuckles quote unquote as eggman <laughs> just, just, <laughs> that, just that just that whole entire set just that whole entire segment talk, uh, talking about uh <laughs> uh at one at one point is just I un- n- 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 Knuckles just unleashes a whole bunch of like evil, evil Knuckles clones and manages to cause more damage than Eggman did the entire show. And uh, <laughs> you just ha- and uh, like <laughs> just and just how extreme they get with it. They're just they're just like who needs skulls? Just shoots missiles at the <laughs> oh my gosh. skulls and uh, let's see, uh, uh, just unleashing a whole bunch of. Uh, a whole bunch of buzz bombers talking about deploy the bees. And, uh, <laughs> uh I mean, um, and like this all, it's, 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 uh, this, I'm robbing the central bank. No, I am. And then like, and then the whole, that whole thing, it's just like, which <laughs> this one of them's like, what monster canceled Netflix? <laughs> and just, I, have, I, I had to, I almost died laughing. The first time I read that, and, uh, like that whole segment is just absolutely gold. That's probably one of my favorite things I've done so far. <laughs> that I can that that's been that's out anyway. Mm-hmm. Is that everyone that's all said? Oh. Um, yeah. Unless Freggy had a favorite. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you oh, guys, uh, yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my my favorite moment. Um. I think there's probably two. I don't know if I can pick. Uh, I That's think okay. my first, I think my first one I'm, th- I'm thinking of is the scene where the in a the scene in Hotel Havoc, not Hotel Havoc, Child's Play, where um, the baby is playing with the gun. Lucas, the baby, is playing with the gun, mm-hmm. and then accidentally sets it off next to Knuckles, and Knuckles is like, <laughs> ah. 
That reminds me of that time I got lost last week, and then uh, he was walking through Pumpkin Hill. Then <laughs> this this isn't the right way. To, I don't think this is the right way to build a bear. <laughs> and then uh, it cuts, and he's holding a bear, and he's like, "It was the right way to build a bear." Yeah, I, I love how <laughs> that was yeah, fun. That's a fun one. <laughs> like how that's I read good. that. Yeah, like how I read that line. Just, 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 just don't mind me if you don't mind me interjecting. I, I, that's something I found too, because like the way I, the way I, like literally the way you, literally, I remember you even gave me a reference of, of like, of like how like deadpan and dry you wanted me to say, which is like basically mm-hmm. what you said there. Mm-hmm. And I literally, I literally just imitated that. <laughs> just, <laughs> and that was yeah. what made. Yeah, yeah. It's almost yeah, a sense I of just, pride. Saw, that sort of delivery would perfect. Um, and then another scene that i really enjoyed doing and enjoyed animating um was the scene in a night to remember uh the marriage scene where sonic amy knuckles and big are getting married drawing big in a wedding dress was an incredible (laughs) moment for me Uh, and then also animating sonic and andrew's like doing all the lines where he's drunk and then he just falls over that was very fun. Uh, <laughs> I did pantomime being drunk, although when I was doing that, I was very tempted to go down the street, buy a six pack, and then come and just <laughs> drink it and then just like record the session. That would have probably been a hot mess. It's funny you say that because when I re- when I was brought in to re-record that for the compilation, I actually did it. I actually did it loaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought like I have enough experience remembering like how I am when I'm a drunk person, so like. It, I just remember some of the lines of the wedding part, especially like, ah, who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. Just my big man. Yeah. <laughs> Follow her. Yeah, and also the, the gibberish from Knuckles, just yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> I remember um that was actually when we did that compilation, that episode was the hardest to do because because of those gibberish scenes, because obviously you can't exactly imitate it's not like a script thing. Yeah. So all the lip sync and stuff had to be redone and all the timing and stuff. So that, that was the hardest part. Uh, definitely worth it. Yeah. But, I tried to, yeah. yeah, I try. I know I tried to get, I tried to get it as close to the original as possible. Obviously, I wasn't trying to match it, but it came, but you know, come close. And uh, that oh, yeah, was more. Yeah, you want to do it in your, your own style, right? Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. obviously, my style, obviously, the way I did it and the way the previous guy did it is much, 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 much different. <laughs> uh, but like you know, um, you know, uh, it was specific with the gibberish thing where I literally just that part was literally just you know, I, I essentially just ad libbed all of that, and I just happened to have took the method acting approach of actually being loaded when I recorded it, just because I wanted it to be authentic. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for answering my question. No problem. It was fun. Hey, you're welcome. Problem, MB. Alrighty. Alrighty. <laughs> So, Tomato Ghost, mm. who's next? Uh, I spy, I believe I see MC Voices is, is holding their hand up. Hey. MC Heck yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. On up, MC Hammer Voices. Uh, can't touch this. Brent, anyway. <laughs> Hello. You Hello. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? It's a pleasure to meet you all. Well, some of you I already know. I'm about to say, we work together. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly a pleasure to meet you, Fraggy. And I think this is the first time we've interacted, imagine, D? I think so, yeah, at least in a, in a call anyway. All right. Well, so here's my question. Well, I don't know if it's been asked me already, but what was behind the decision to make Sonic the straight guy and Knuckles the goofball? <laughs> question for Fraggy right there. Yeah. Cause, um, yeah, because like in normal yeah. Sonic, it's normally the opposite. Yeah, so I think a lot of it is down to that um, Sonic Boom inspiration where Knuckles sort of fit the sort of idiot stereotype, right? And I feel like when you've only got two characters and one of them is sort of comic relief, you need someone to sort of be like, to balance that. So for the most part, Sonic is uh, more serious. And also it's kind of like, in general, Sonic is the only normal one. Everyone else is is crazy in their own unique ways. So it provides <laughs> yeah. good contrast with with every other character as well, having Sonic be a uh, being as he is. Yeah. Makes sense. Very nice. Mm-hmm. And before I go, I just wanted to say one of my favorite moments is this part where 
Tails is giving his hamsters to Sonic and Knuckles to watch over the weekend. And he goes, okay, this little guy's named Bernard, and this little guy's named Bernard. Bernard eats this food, and Bernard eats this food. Don't get them mixed up, or else they'll have an allergic reaction and die. <laughs> I, remember, I remember that. Just like, wait, yeah. what? Who, die? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like uh, you, I guess you're SOL there, Sonic. It's- ah, they're fine. Like, honestly, by the time we got them back to Tails, they were fine. I mean, they were sleeping for a day and they started to smell a little fine. They, they, they were all right. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone Tails dies eventually, rest. you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of life, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Well, anyway, thank you for answering my question. It's great to see you all. We'll see you some other time. Yeah, see you. Uh-huh. Good to hear from you, man. Absolutely. And Fantastic. Uh, I think I saw a text question. Yeah, uh, maybe it's from oh, yes. uh, Dino Kaiju? Yeah. yeah, I saw a couple. Oh, I, I saw a couple in here, yeah. I saw oh, two. Yeah. Uh, I saw one oh, there's at least two. Oh. Yeah, yeah, one from Doom. I'm going to read this one, actually. <laughs> Is Shadow's pet goldfish Nibbles still alive? Is he? Um, that deathly silence worried me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he was sacrificed for the greater good. He was absorbed by uh, that chat. What's it? Did the chat have a name? I can't remember. I don't know if the chat did have a name. Can't remember. But he was absorbed by that chat to become a beast and destroy the other oh. zombie chat. So unfortunately, Nipples is no longer with us. Um, oh no! Well, at least we got a protege, but. At least we kibosh the name Maria Jr. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Rip, ripping pepperoni. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was for the greater good. It's fine. Fine. Yeah. It's up there with uh, Bernard and Bernard. Everyone dies eventually. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a worrying theme throughout this Q&A. <laughs> yeah, all the one up here just, just die. <laughs> that's not good. This is a new catchphrase. <laughs> That's, everyone dies eventually. There you go. There you go. That, that, that's what number catchphrase number fifteen billion. <laughs> Apparently, we all die eventually. We all we all die eventually. So, um, and none die quite I, I, like Nibbles. I didn't even I didn't even mean to say that as Knuckles. That's what makes that funny. <laughs> everyone you dies eventually. Knuckles. There you go. <laughs> can't escape it. <laughs> I think it, was, right. it was that whole bit with Nibbles and the episode before with Shadow, which just solidified me like, man, this version of Shadow was hilarious. He has like oh, one yeah. scene in an episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Wolf Blade. <laughs> yeah, Wolf Blade friggin' kills it as Shadow. <laughs> and, I still uh, get a such laugh. a good job, yeah. I still yeah. get a laugh that like I feel like, at least on Twitter, what made the popularity of the show like really take off was somebody sharing the clip. Of Shadow handing Sonic the gun and then cocking and be like, <laughs> right. cock. that was brilliant. <laughs> that was I just have to say, <laughs> fantastic joke. <laughs> I know there. I know that one. I know the. I know there is that one. Um, I know there's one. There's one bit from Child's Play. I know that went freaking like viral on like TikTok and everything. Where it's like, uh, it was specifically the one where like. <laughs> You read, you like, you're like, read, like, Sonic's reading the note. Congratulations, Knuckles. Knuckles pops in. Woohoo! You are a father. And then just the, just the, just the, oh, yeah. That, that did, <laughs> yeah, that, that was such a really good. Well. I, I remember seeing someone upload that to TikTok and it had like a quarter of a million views. Oh, jeez. Yeah, usually when you see that sort of thing happen, if, when I upload the clip, it doesn't pop off because it's already popped off, right? Yeah. But, I uploaded the clip and that also popped off. That 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 scene did really well. And then YouTube Shorts as well, it's got. Yeah. It did really I know, well. I don't know how many yeah, I know, got on YouTube, but Yeah. Yeah, because I believe you started doing the shorts roughly around the same time. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh I know that was that was one I particularly I think because I think at least one I know I, I think one of those shorts, I think at one point got at least like 15 million just on that one. I was just like, man, that's that is, one that is that's insane. Yeah, for one of them, I don't know. I don't even recall if it's up anymore. I know there. I know there was like that, like just that, just just like just how how just well how just how well put together that was. It just it is the <laughs> I mean, me and me and Callum, the the writer, say all the time that is the best opening uh, we've had for yeah, an it, episode. Like it's so quick. It, it delivers on what the idea of the episode's going to be, and it just and slaps you in the face with it too. Yeah. And, like it's just. 
it's a very stark contrast where it's all like upbeat and everything and then just goes to knuckles who was like catatonic <laughs> yeah it, it was it was it was it, it's even it's even while it's even wilder too because like it's even wilder too because it was like it was the first actual thing i it was like the first actual like uh because it was my it was my debut for the show and i admit and you know i, I like I didn't really, I didn't, I wasn't, and like you know, I, I set my lines and not thinking much of it, and then just noticed that it like absolutely exploded. <laughs> I was like, last time I checked, out what six million views now, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> it, it did very well. Wow. Yeah. yeah, six million. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, which, which is honestly, you know, which is honestly very surreal, and you know, I'm, I'm glad I was able to be a part of it because that 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 scene right there was great. <laughs> or like, wow. I know what was it? They, I see another one that's popped up a lot. That was the um, hmm. We're out of milk. How about bleach? It's like because he has freaking bleach in the fridge for some reason. Which I which I which I made a call back to in like the Q and A thing we did because there is yeah. one question that's like the knuckles. Why do you have bleach in the fridge? And I'm the one that sent the question and. uh and I got and and then there's there's at least like a there's a there's at least one like alternate take where I was like oh Josh screw that guy to keep it cool of course yeah yeah <laughs> uh. mm. um Marto Ghost do you want to read the next text question I shall do so so from uh, Dino Kaiju actually a question I wanted to know as well. How much of the show is both scripted and or improv, especially considering it's a comedy? Oh, very good question. I would so, say I stick fairly close to the script, but uh, I do have some riffs and very improv stuff that has made like the final cut. Um, I think my personal favorite actually is uh, from the Q&A stuff is when Sonic got shot by Shadow. And I, that was just 30 <laughs> seconds of me like writhing in pain and just, just like screaming and cursing out Shadow for why he would do that. <laughs> like, what's your favorite food? Ah, bang! <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, I, oh, God! <laughs> God, that's, uh... Yeah, I, I would say most of it is scripted, but there are moments where, where in the script will be like, you can add on to this, say some more stuff, or there'll be like background noise where we'll just where we'll just tell the voice actors to just improv like um <laughs> the scene in the latest episode, the the one bit that comes to mind is after the first scene with the brownies when Knuckles says, I put it out of the gasoline. Was that improv after that? The, the yeah, the, the three stuff. The, the screaming and the, the chaos H for that was all ad libbed. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like like i like i was specifically because you you get because i the only context i had because you know because you know we do the you know obviously record this before it's animated the only context i had was that knuckles is ex, is exploded and is on freaking fire because he doesn't know how to because he decided to put out fire with gasoline which is uh you know how science works that is not what you do. And uh, <laughs> so there's like one where I'm just like, where like, where I actually like went to the absolute extreme with it. Like it actually sounded like it was being burned alive. <laughs> uh, which I. Yeah, yeah. You, you put some heart into some of those lines. I do not know how your throat survives. I don't know either. A lot of the screaming you do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Let, let me tell you a lot of tea, a lot well, of. You've not gotten like the police calls to your place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I have like I have a lot of moving blankets nailed to my apartment, and thankfully my my neighbors don't give a damn. So that's good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so that's uh, and, you know I also live by myself, which also helps because I'm pretty sure any roommates I have would be plotting to kill me in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking uh, um, uh, you know, scream screaming I'd be doing just because I, I have this tendency to go. I have this tendency to go to the. The, Cause I have the tendency to go to the extreme just cause like, it's just a nice way to like, just mess with everybody. <laughs> uh, and, um, I mean, I know, Oh yeah. The, I like, I know like the electrocution sound that I had in that same episode where, uh, where it channeled yeah. more of a zombie croak than anything. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, all, that was also like an, an improvised thing. Like I, like I know definitely, I know definitely with me, I'd be, uh, um, just 
because you know they and Fraggy over here like you usually just vi- like finds like finds ways to make work of course i stick the script as much as i need to i'm not like you know i'm not going too overboard with it necessarily unless they specifically ask me to but like you know just every now and then i'll have some stuff pop up in my head that i guess i figure i figure helps like the scene pop a little better and <laughs> yeah so so there'll be bits where like the characters like we just put in the script mumble cuz they're like grumbling or something. Uh, what's what's an example of that? Um, oh, in the, in in the latest episode where uh, Eggman in Knuckles' body swaps all the the yellow candy, takes all the yellow candies out of the the Skittles bag or whatever it is, and and Sonic's like, ah, oh, grumble, grumble, grumble. That's what the script says. But then Andrew adds some flavor lines to it, like I can't remember what you said, but. That sort of stuff's all improv as well. Uh, there's, yeah. a, there's, a, there's a decent amount of improv in, and I do think it adds a bit more character, so I do like to include it. Absolutely. And Definitely. Know, yeah, and like, I'm, I mean, I know with the... <clears throat> I know, I know, like, with the... I know with the uh, evil Knuckles laughs with episode eight, I, I, remember, specific, I remember specifically, I think that was kind of like a later edition <laughs> that... Uh, Cause I think you, I think you would like, uh, cause you know, the whole idea is that I was, you know, I was body swapping with Eggman. And if I recall correctly, uh, towards the end of production, uh, Reggie over here to uh, basically just reached out to DM. Hey, could you throw, could you just throw in a couple like evil laughs in here just to kind of help uh, drive the point home? I forgot exactly what the word was. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I, th- I think I literally, I think I literally just, uh, just put in like, the most mani- the most like maniacal, like sadistic, evil laugh I could think of at the top of my head, and just and just and that's just what what made it in. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that was when we were because when we make the episodes, when we finish making them, me and me and Callum, um, the scriptwriter, go 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 through the episode, make sure everything feels okay. And sometimes there'll be bits that we just want to add that sort of emphasize certain parts. So yeah, it would have been one of those. Mm, fantastic. Um, oh, I see another hand raised at the bottom. Oh, uh, yep. It's Cutie Cat. Come on up. Heck yeah. I must say, I know they didn't hey, want to lose this one. <laughs> I know Hello. this person. Hey. I'm sorry, what was that, Jack? <laughs> I know this person. <laughs> oh, shit, I know this person, too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is so, so mad. I mean. <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't mean to kill you. Okay, breathe, breathe. So anyway, it's nice for all the people I've 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 recently for, I've, I realize. Wait, actually, I realize Fuggy's the only person I, I've just I've just now met. I've already talked to like most most of y'all. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, nice to meet you too. Anyway, uh, my question to all of you, the question is probably ha- going to be hard to describe, but, but I'll try my best. Basically, in layman's terms, to, to the animators, what was the hardest part of, what was the hardest part of, of the Sonic and Knuckles show to animate? To the voice actors, what was the hardest part? To, it's all basically the same question, but to, okay, what was the hardest part of the Knuckles show? Like, to, like the, the voice act, the, the animate, the write, like, Whatever. That was hard. <laughs> that we've worked on, I'm presuming you mean? Yes. <laughs> gotcha. That was, I, I am so sorry. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I'm that was um, a very good question. No, good question. Go we got very good answer. question. I'm an actor. I don't have to know how to talk. No worries. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a what, what is the hardest part of the show for you, for us personally, I guess? Mm. For each of our roles. Um, oh, yeah, so, so I'll speak. Obviously, the writer's not here, um, but I, you know I do do some of the writing. I'll speak from the writing part. Um, the hardest part is probably, I guess, thinking of the ideas for the episode and having them be um, work well um, and, and be funny and stuff. Like the Knuckles brain swap, the Knuckles and Eggman brain swap episode. Uh, it seems like quite a simple idea, and it's quite a generic trope. But it took us ages to actually come to that, come to that idea 
Every got a body swap to, episode. To, 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 to become an episode, the body swap episode, yeah. Uh, so originally it was going to be an episode where Knuckles gets smart. Oh, and by the way, we started writing this after, I want to say, her, uh, Monster Hunters, the th- episode three. And it, it was episode eight. So, so we started writing it ages ago and it just got scrapped because we couldn't think of... The, the, the trouble with making Knuckles smart is that um, then you just have him kind of act like a dick and then there's like you lose the comic relief in the show in the episode and we didn't really know how to write around that so we just kept scrapping it over and over until we came to the conclusion that oh maybe we should just do a body swap episode because then you don't lose the comic relief and you still sort of have Knuckles kind of be smart but also he can be a dick because he's he's Eggman um, and then from the animation perspective um, I would say that the hardest part is always sort of scenes of a lot of movement um, so like the latest uh, episode 8 the body swap episode the scene of all the different evil Knuckles clones sort of doing different things um, whatever, whatever I was recording at that point <laughs> yeah 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 um, and then, yeah, just any sort of scene that's got a lot of movement, they, they tend to be the hardest. And, uh, yeah. What were the voice actors? <clears throat> uh, um, you can go first, sorry. <laughs> oh, um, I'll say for me, basically anytime I have to, like, really yell, it's kind of for, for two reasons. One, because I don't really have the freedom to, like, really yell in my recordings like I would like to. So I kind of have to, like, be very selective for when I do get them. And even then, when I do, like, a, a good handful of examples would be, like, the, the body, the mind swap episode where uh, I, where Knuckles is pouring the coffee on himself. Like, yells like that, the biggest thing that kind of, like, gets on my nerves about that is like not so much actually doing the yelling, but making sure I don't unintentionally like distort the recording with how much the yell is probably peaking or whatnot. I've been there. I have been there. <laughs> uh, I mean, yes. Um, what's funny is what's funny is that Knuckles is not even that challenging of a voice for me to do. <laughs> it's 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 just kind of, it's just kind of just like my it's just kind of like my voice in a way Uh, i mean that's a given though (laughs) yeah um and yeah you know i'm pretty sure i went into it at least a couple times just by talking you know it's like honestly not that hard for me to slip into but i feel like um i know um i often i mean i know uh i I often enjoy like every opportunity i have to kind of (laughs) like Like, like, like I was mentioning earlier, probably my, probably one of my favorite things that I think I've worked on so far is just that whole bit with the evil knock with the evil knuckles clones and just, uh, just all the, all the, all sorts of wild stuff that was going like, like all the screaming and the, and like the punching sounds and like, oh, that was all me. (laughs) <laughs> it's like all of those I, I had all I had all of them thing I had all of them things recorded in that session and uh and just uh and in uh, the I mean I mean I guess maybe t- I guess maybe to a degree stuff where I mean I mean stuff where like you know where I'm where I'm maybe going to the extreme with it but like I mean I feel like that's just that's already just kind of a given I think but you know, nothing that for the most part, like, you know, a little T and like my five billion other regiments don't usually help with. I currently smell like Vicks to give you an idea. Uh, so, um, you know, is so is a little vape, vapor rub. Google it. Um, okay. uh, I'm Googling it, but the stock is down. So uh, well, I'll Google it <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, but anyway. That was not that funny, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> la- la- ladies and gentlemen, I could kill this girl by breathing. <laughs> this kid's for dead. Uh, that sounds weird out of context. That sounds uh, settling. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's don't, maybe not a myth to that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, no, I didn't, I mean like that. I ain't trying to go. Uh, I'm just, gonna, okay, I'm just gonna stop. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stop talking <laughs> before I get myself canceled. Uh, I'm just, just trying to be funny. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, I already I completely forgot what I was trying to say. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I did not mean to hijack the conversation. Like this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel like you know, I just, I, screaming is fun. <laughs> Man, I like and that's another one with the quote book. Yeah, yeah. screaming is fun. Well, so is screaming the, is fun. Well, Everyone dies eventually. Screaming is fun. Yeah, tell your kids. So, so, and, you know who needs schools, hospitals, all that. Uh, <laughs> Knuckles, no. <laughs> <laughs> In that same episode, I'm talking about let's blow up an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, need Don't need hospitals. Don't need hospitals. It's uh, yeah. That 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 whole that whole that whole thing is just golden, and I. I I loved it so much that I lost my train of thought and just started rambling on about it. So that should answer your question, I guess. Probably not, but I, I'm good at this. Uh, I still have a career. Uh, yeah. <laughs> toughest one for me, uh, the toughest aspect for me, I think, is when you play a straight man character, um, I do have like a lot of opportunities to like, you know, have a good range of deliveries. But part of it would just be um just not feeling like making sure like every delivery or line feels too samey, if that makes sense. Uh, because yeah. again, like, you know, Sonic, when I do him, it's just like a register up for my regular voice. It is a deeper range Sonic, which, you know, some people like, thank you again, Roger Craig Smith, other people. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's just some of the, like when I go through some of the lines, it's just, okay, how can I spice this up? Or like, how can I do this in a way where, you know, I just, I make everything feel a little bit more unique. And sometimes it's just, you know, there's just a lot of lines for Sonic that are conversational or like, you know, very, very neutral sounding, um, which is perfectly fine. And, and then you just have, I like trying to pinpoint some of the lines in some of the uh, episodes where, okay, I can have a lot of fun with this in particular, because I can kind of just imagine the bit in my head and think, I feel like he would go like this. Um, I'll say I was starting to like glance at uh, an upcoming script for an episode, but I won't say too much about it, obviously because it's, it's still production. But uh, when I get to record that, it I, I know I'm going to have some fun with it because there's uh there's some like <laughs> this the premise is going to be very entertaining. No, don't, don't, worry, don't, worry, don't worry, Andrew. Just don't worry, don't worry, Andrew. Just just say you played the fifth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, uh, the film. Uh, uh, that's my job uh, <laughs> but uh I, I think like i've done at least a fairly good job with like just trying trying to instill like little bits of variety here and there i would even say going back to the you are a father bit where i'm just reading off this entire paper of like this this lady who uh, apparently had knuckles oh, child and then oh, i just oh, ended oh, off with like knuckles kind of being like really just like sincerely oh, like, oh, like the girl who lives oh, wait, the- i have like but yeah i, I like that one just let's see oh i got actual discussion but <laughs> i haven't used one of these uh, before. oh show chat no, no not show chat yep <laughs> i don't know where <laughs> i'm looking that's, that's, that's the shot right there <laughs> beauty cat put it in <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. That's Red, lovely. Red, Red Red in that <laughs> golden tray pose. Yeah, that, like that, that, like so many, like I can't tell so many, like like re uploads of just this in the previous shot before that. Like it's just so insane how viral that particular that one that one scene was. Oh my god! <laughs> and and that knuckles pose looking as uh, good as it does. Yeah, just one of my like it's That's just him like, reacting, and it's gonna be a visual gag. I was just like, okay, I got, I gotta really try to sell this, and just at the end have yeah. like that, just that that last line dripping in disappointment. It's like, really, the person who lives in the dumpster behind the Walmart, really, Knuckles. <laughs> You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't go. You yeah, couldn't go better than that. You couldn't I, go to I Target like a real man. On, <laughs> and then death. On Josh is like very over enthusiastic. Woohoo! And your sort of reading of uh, the letter. Yeah, you then, are a father. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it really, really contributed to the scene working. 
Yeah. It's funny because the original thing, I remember, it's funny because I remember there was a little more, there was a little more of that cheering initially because like you had like a whole thing where I was like, all right. <laughs> it's like it did for just the woohoo is the part that made it in but I thought this came yeah. out so much better yeah again that would have been something that we were just watching the episode after we animated it all and we just thought yeah let's Shady just let's just cut that bit out yeah that would I'm just imagining that alternate universe which is like and then they're just they're just frozen right there <laughs> Shadi hit the floor <laughs> next thing yeah <laughs> Shadi got low 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 <laughs> Okay. Thanks for answering my question. No Sorry if I took too much of your time. That was uh, wonderful. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's always it's always it's uh it's always fun to hear you dying. That sounds really <laughs> which wow. Is, <laughs> wow. You're, just, wow. you're just you're just doing a very bad job being the allegations. <laughs> <laughs> being the allegations. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting the twit longer ready. Let's see y'all, everybody. I just have to be a part of this. Thank thank you. Thank you, cutie (laughs) guy. Thank you. Uh, (laughs) Um, Right, so, uh, Tomato Ghost, I see another hand raised. Yes, I do. It's Mario and Sonic Fan 91. Oh, Oh, man. Come on down. You can like things other than Sonic? No way. No oh no, that's a lot of people. So you can only like Sonic only. What? I think Mario's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, I like, I like thinking so. Yes. Hello. Mario. Hello. Wahoo. Hello. On this Q and A. Yes. Mario and Sonic fan ninety one. Where the other ninety? Yeah. Anyway, I would like to ask a Fridgey about. The certain ca- other Sonic characters who might appear in the Sonic and Knuckles or so. Oh, and I like to ask, uh, but first, I like to ask if, Fridgey, if you're planning to add Sally a corn to the show, I advise don't, because he will fight Sonic, fight Amy over Sonic, and it's just say, it's going to be a bloodbath for me. Respectable uh, one in that. <laughs> Respectable. What are we really talking about? <laughs> I was about to say, like, I feel like that won't be happening considering Sally already has a girlfriend. Nicole, we have yeah. an agreement. Oh yeah. <laughs> I usually focus on the pre-boot universe because that's actually the better version of Archie, in my opinion. Right. <laughs> Poor Antoine. Yeah. Alrighty. Nice to loot you. All right. Um, so. so- the characters you know we don't really think about characters in the sense that we want to add them we sort of just think of the idea for the episode and then think what character would be good for this episode um so for example um we needed for in episode two we needed a way to transport all the knuckles clones to uh, africa we thought oh we could get tails to fly the plane there uh, oh. So that was a good way to introduce Tails into that. Um, oh. And then, what? Shadow as the exterminator in episode three. Um, so it's sort of just like, if we think of an idea and we have a a gap in the plot, and we're like, how how could we fix this gap that we've got in the plot or like drive oh. the story forward or whatever? Um, an easy way is to just introduce a new character. Um, oh, so I couldn't really say. Um, I, I guess the characters that we'd probably have on our mind would be, um, like, like the sort of like main cast of characters. So like you know, Silver, mm. Chaotix. Uh, what about the Blaze? Blaze, the character. Blaze, yeah, yeah. Um, they probably be the ones on our mind to think of. I don't think we'd ever think of anyone from the comics because neither me or Callum have read the comics. Uh, so we'd probably never really add like Sally or I don't even know the names of the other, other people. Uh, Can you imagine <laughs> if you put her in that episode thing. and it just mine. never had? You know what? To be fair, fair. <laughs> to be fair, it is a bit of a lie because <laughs> one of the one, one, of, <laughs> one, of the, uh, 
Yeah. Well, oh, <laughs> one of the um, scraps scripts that we did. Um, one of the lines was like, "It was going to be like Sonic." What was it going to be? It was going to be Sonic is going away for the weekend, and so so like Knuckles is in charge of the house. It was something like that, anyway. Um, <laughs> and the reason Knuck- uh, Sonic was going is because he was going to Sally's wedding. Oh, oh, that was sort of like just like in passing, sort of character mention. Um, but obviously that got scrapped, so we didn't do that. So. <laughs> well, yeah. well, can I talk to a Sonic for a bit, please? I like to ask him for a sneak peek of episode two of season two. That's I that's not how that works. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't happy. think that works. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I just, I just think I'm uh, really excited for it. All right, cool. Sure, my line is. Yeah, absolutely. Who, who, absolutely. Who needs a career? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I also wanted to ask. Uh, uh, no, well, no, 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 one question for now. Yeah, one, one, yeah, yeah, one, one, one question is. Yeah, that's all right. On the last, yeah, if, 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 if no hands come up, then you know maybe maybe the next round. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, I, just, I, got, I know I'm not supposed to be saying that, but I just wanted to help you know help the host out. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, I, I have to get going. Gotta save the princess again from Koopa. It's getting so ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's no a nice, great, no great family, family, family dollar Mario. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, and then um, I keep the yes. on the uh, triggered, bits of the princess. I trigger my parents' dogs to just start barking at nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! I'm fa- I'm <laughs> for those wondering. I'm I'm house sitting for the for my parents right now. Uh, so that's why my my setup's a little echoey than normal. <laughs> um, any hands? No hands. Oh, there is a text question oh, there. Question. Yes. Uh-huh. Dino Kaiju again. Yes. Uh, what was the decision of going for the more classic Sonic art style as opposed to the modern Sonic art style for the show? Oh, that's a good question. So I could give a long-winded answer. I'm going to give a long-winded answer. <laughs> Please do, yes. Um, I mean, you're the host. Uh, well, not the host, host you're the show creator. So when we were thinking of doing the sitcom idea, uh, like however many years ago now um an issue we always saw and you still see it to be fair uh is a lot of people will start a fan project and make it too complicated or too complex um and they'll not never be able to get it finished because of how complex it is it's like when we went into this we were like we've got to make this simple like that's why it's only sonic and knuckles for the first episode and eggman obviously for the first episode like we've got to Keep it simple, you know, because then we can actually finish it and get a finished thing out there. Um, so the idea for the classic characters is that they're a lot simpler to, to animate. So it actually just made things a bit easier on production side and then just get, get with it, really. Uh, they've gotten more complicated over, over time. Um, if you compare the first episode, the first original episode, not the redo I did, uh, where we put in Josh's voices. Um, the first original episode, you can see that the animation uh, complexity is a lot is a lot less detailed than it is now. Um, mm. so like we probably could do the modern characters if we wanted to, and I kind of did make them a bit more modern looking. I made it a bit more of like a hybrid between modern and classic now. But yeah, that that's the reason to make animation easier. Mm. So what what got you into animation? Like, where did where did your animation like you know start? Like, what what made you go? Oh, I'm going to become an animator. Um. So, uh, is is everyone familiar with Sonic Test? Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, how nostalgic. Used, yeah. Me, me and Callum, the writer, he used to watch uh, Sonic Test all the time. Uh, when we were like, I don't know, eleven or ten or eleven, I don't know. Um, and we were like, yeah, let's we, let's do that. So we started making our own Sonic stop motions, uh, which I lost the time. I, I don't know where they are anymore. Um, and then, and then at some point, I discovered Adobe Flash and animations and Newgrounds and Sonic Shorts. 
Um, and I was like, yeah, that seems so much better to do than stop motion because you don't have to have a camera or whatever and you can make your mm. own scenes and stuff because you don't need to like build it out in real life. So then I just moved to animation instead of doing stop motion. And that that's that. Mm. I just had a process then for a second looking up that those Sonic Toast videos are 17 years old now. That is insane. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's beautiful. But it just goes to show you never know what you're inspiring when you put something out there. Yeah. 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 I been thir- that's fantastic. I would have been, thir- I been 13. <laughs> and actually, if I may piggyback off that question, I, that we can ask something similar to the voice actors. A big question, I'm sure, but what, what got drew you to voice acting? Yeah. Um, just c- watching a lot of cartoons growing up, mostly. That's a very solid answer, yes. <laughs> yeah, same idea, really. Um, I never really thought about, like, I guess pursuing it as more than a... Well, even as a hobby, it took me a while to get to it. I would say a couple of years to just say, finding out that, like, oh, people... I think getting back into the Sonic comics again in, like, 2010 or the next couple of years, finding old channels like Koba Bombs and, oh, man, people actually do dubs of these comics. These are really cool. And then I started connecting with people and a group who did them. Uh, I think that original group, I don't think I really appeared more than one or two because the whole thing kind of died off after that. But then it motivates you to start doing your own. And then I think a few years in, I started like getting a bit more professional work. And even now, like I, I kind of do a balance of like, say, doing like, you know, fan related stuff or personal stuff and then just you know, trying to audition when I can between my day job and everything and getting like actual, actual paying work. <laughs> mm, I think for, um, in my case, um, like kind of a similar thing in the, in the sense that like, um, a, uh, I know, um, I, there, I was just the major connoisseur of animation and video games growing and, uh, doing a whole lot of, weird voices in in uh, the privacy of my own bedroom which uh sounds way more demented than it actually is uh no. <laughs> uh and uh you know i mean i knew definitely at nine years old that i i, I like early as nine i knew that i wanted to be an actor but like i wasn't entirely sure of like which kind necessarily and voiceover just happened to be the thing that i gravitated more towards because i guess part of it being the versatility and just being able to do roles I probably wouldn't be able to get as like a regular like you know stage or screen actor. Um, I'm I had a little bit of stage and screen acting background like growing up because uh, I did a lot of like drama camps and stuff like that and like community theater and things of that nature. But I mean, and and yeah, I think that was definitely just kind of kind of like the versatility and just just seeing what kind of wild voices can come out of my face and. Um, and it would and what that can lead to. I know Mel Blanc easily being my biggest inspiration. Um, uh, yeah, so, he is a great one. Yeah, I have so many different ones, but that's easily like the number one person that I have in my mind. And I feel like most I feel like most voice actors alive today are, you know, we're all basically doing our damnedest to get to that. <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, like that's like that. W- I would definitely consider that like my number one. One, I'm very. I mean, I'll probably say like. I mean, it's, I mean, pro- definitely. I mean, like people. There's like so many different ones as well. Like you know, Tom Kenny, Yuri Lowenthal. Of course. Uh, I mean, of course. Uh, one of, of course, one of my inspirations for my knuckles, Dan Green. That's another one. There's like so many different ones. It would take me forever to list them all. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's. I feel like that answers it pretty nicely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Fantastic. Here's a fun question. Who's your favorite character in the Sonic and Knuckles show? Hmm. I feel like I'll be, I feel like I'd sound a little biased if I said that. <laughs> <laughs> just like, do we, do we prevent the actors picking themselves? But you know what? Knuckles yeah, is a great yeah, character. Just, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> besides, besides your own characters. Uh, um, if I had to pick someone that wasn't a character I voice, um, honestly, it would be either Knuckles or Shadow. <laughs> Mine is Shadow is one of them for sure. Um, I think Eggman, Eggboy. Just a winning combination. <laughs> oh, you flatter me. 
Um, so I, so from from my from the writing perspective, I think possibly big is my favorite because if you've got a scene and it's it needs a bit of spicing up, you just throw big into the scene and it's it's instantly funnier because big is. I'm in this G. <laughs> exactly. Um, but my my heart is with Egg Boy. I can't lie. <laughs> Egg Boy's my favorite. <laughs> it's, 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 officially, it's officially my uh, only OC. So <laughs> there you go. I mean, I think for in terms of favorite characters, that, in terms of favorite characters that aren't mine. Uh, <laughs> Because I because I like because I love how I love how Knuckles was written in the show and I love recording for him, but I feel like that'd be a little biased. Um, oh man, uh, probably I probably I just like uh, oh man. I mean, Eggman and Egg Boy is a classic. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's easily one of them. I think uh, the um, <laughs> Tails in the show is also one of is also one of my. One of my favorite things, just because of like just how wild the whole idea of a drug addict tales is to me, um, and probably also, um, I mean, I also just, I also just, I also just love like the uh, the back and forths that like I, I, I guess I'll throw I guess I'll throw Sonic in there as well, just because I just because I like just the just the just the ba- all the banter that's off that's off to written between Sonic and Knuckles and just Sonic just trying to. Just, just trying to deal with this, uh, this, uh, this um, non-chuckling boy that probably should not be left alone, uh, <laughs> uh, and and so and it's just it's a, it's it's all it, you know it's always a great t- like it, it's like a pick a favorite child sort of thing like I just like I just love how the show is written overall so and so it's just hard to be to pick just one also cream also cream uh, being also a uh, Cream being into Satanism is pretty fantastic as, as well. Um, you, you can say all of them. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just going okay. to say all of them. Sorry. <laughs> right, well, I had like a whole menu. Of, like, it's like a, like, I just, I, just, I just love all of them, if I'm being honest. Even Vanilla in her bit part, and she's just like, I have made a terrible decision with my life. <laughs> Never have kids. <laughs> Never have kids. <laughs> I can relate. Fantastic. Um, so no hands raised. Is uh, is there any text questions, Tomato Ghost? Uh, I don't see any text questions, but I can sure come up with more if you need. I think I, I do see mean? a hand raised down there, actually. Oh, is there? Oh, uh, there we go. So I there is, yes. Hands. Yes. Oh, two. Oh, oh it's kicking off now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Here we go. Here we go. I, already, I thought it said IRS for a second. And I, it's like, I got an extension on my taxes. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on me. I'm not American. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow goes, who are you going to pick? Uh, I, I believe was, was Ira first by like a second. I think so. I think that's, that's fair. Ira, come on down. IRA, like the retirement account. Um, uh, all right. <laughs> greetings, y'all. Hey. Hello. 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 <laughs> all right let's I'll see lap on a question uh, <laughs> i don't think okay my question is um do you have do you have a favorite sonic game that mm. favorite sonic game who was the guy yes, first favorite child you're picking up <laughs> i'll about, 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 about to say pick more of your kids uh <laughs> Circus um, in town. <laughs> okay, well, I'll say is. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say it. My top three is uh, Sonic Mania, Sonic Adventure Two, and Sonic Three and Knuckles. Let's let's look at my top oh, three. Perfect choices. Those mm. are some good choices. Yeah, mine would be. Um, actually, I think I'll go with like a top five. It'd be Sonic Two, then Three and Knuckles. Um, generations, um, I think colors and mania plus. 
Ooh, good oh, choice. Oh, that is strong. <laughs> so I, like the, cool. I like the extra plus. Yeah, yeah I guess the like, well, because I that's the version of the game that I own. That's fair yeah. enough. Yes, yeah, so we would mean Mania Plus because Mighty and Ray, they're great. Of course. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It is better. Oh, Cooley, y'all love it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you evil laughing? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah, just, just a reminder, <laughs> villains are not the crime. The man is not real. <laughs> Sonic. Uh, Sonic Mania. Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic <laughs> Generations. They're, they're my three favorites. Ooh, That's awesome. All good, very good choices. Very good choices. Very yeah. good choices. Yeah, I think for me... Um, oh man, yeah. If uh, I'm gonna I'm do my damnedest to have a top five, uh, uh, <laughs> I think. No uh, yeah. Uh, is it like because there are like so many? Um, I think um, Sonic Three num and I almost said Numbles Knuckles Sonic Three <laughs> and Numbles, Numbles. 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 Uh, number <laughs> number one. Yeah, the Sonic and Numbles show. You know that's. Uh, <laughs> My favorite. Uh, any, anyway, this is Sonic Three and Knuckles is number one. Uh, I think. Uh, God. Um, uh, uh, Generations number two. Uh, mm-hmm. actually, Mania is number three. Um, um, Sonic Adventure two, I think, is four. And I think from my fifth one. Uh, I think, uh, uh, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, take your time, take your time, think, take your time. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, I mean, as far as like, as far as like recent, as far as like the more recent titles, I would definitely say that, uh, probably a tie between Superstars and Frontiers. Like, I like, I liked both games a lot. Uh, so I guess mm. I would throw, I would throw that in, I would throw that in the ring just because I like, liked is how much they like added to the franchise and stuff and like they, I mean it, it's gonna it would take the whole panel for me to list them all but those like the ones <laughs> that come readily to mind for me because I know I'm just gonna wind up rambling on if I if I if I think about it too much. But yeah unleashed uh, I saw some I saw somebody mention unleashed that's an honorable mention. Oh unleashed is great. <laughs> Like that's my like out of all like the quote unquote dark era game, a uh, dark age games. That's easily my favorite one. I'd, I'd argue it's easily the best dark era game. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think I've pretty much answered that all. But yeah, I think I've got choices. Answers, right? Yeah, thank interesting. you. Interesting. I yeah. try. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> yes, well, thanks, thanks for thanks your for question. question. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. You're very welcome. Glad you. There we go. Back to the audience. Uh, right. Let's bring up Crimson Mike. Heck yeah. Black Knight is up there, Tomato Ghost. I saw you on (laughs) this. Hello. My my only beef is the controller. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I chose not to say Black Knight for a valid reason. It's because it's not that good a game. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, no. Tomato Ghost is upset. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. Next question. Next question. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> what I'm going to say is that for the Knuckles, uh, the Sonic and Knuckles show, will we ever get to see like the Chaotix? Oh, something. Well, I know you teased at least Charmy during one of the Q and A's. Yeah, so they definitely yeah, exist. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I think it's one of those where um, we'll use a character for either a joke, like Charmy or Vanilla, um, or if we have a, if we need to fulfill a plot in some way. And we'll add a character then, so like maybe there's some sort of imagine, I don't know. imagine the chaotic, like, like, like maybe Eggman the- hires the chaotic for an investigation. Maybe in, in that situation, we'd use them or like something Ooh. like that. I don't know. Um, I definitely think they would probably be up there as one of the more likely to, to feature in the show. Just because they're very unique characters. When do we see Metal Sonic? Metal Sonic again. I don't know. Like, cause this, cause Eggman's not very um. How should I say? Uh, good at being a villain in this show. <laughs> Metal Sonic seems too advanced for him. 
Ironic. Well, maybe there's a situation where Metal Sonic is like literally the same as Sonic and he's sort of like a clone of him. I don't know. Not sure. Could happen. I think Metal Sonic could happen, potentially. But I don't know. Sonic, but he's the silly one. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, the, I know some of the bad. I know, I know, I know that some of the bad nicks are still in there, considering the whole <laughs> knuckle the leashing hole. Oh uh, yeah, the buzz bombers. Oh, yeah, oh, hide of yeah. buzz, buzz bomb. I still, I still find it. I still find it so funny that like <laughs> you had it written to where you had it written to where, like Knuckles as Eggman caused more uh, was way more good, better being a villain than actual <laughs> Eggman was. Yeah, yeah, actually, like putting. All- evil things to use and causing havoc. Yeah. You know, I just thought of like great. very random very random pitch. You don't have to go with it if you don't want to. But what if you do introduce uh, Metal Sonic but the twist is that he was actually created by Egg Boy and it's like it's like subconsciously through Egg Boy he made Metal Sonic. Oh wow. Yeah, I, th- I think that's how it would go, yeah, cuz <laughs> Egg Boy is yeah. That would be interesting. Egg Boy has layers. Yeah, gangster like I do like an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think those are just layers because you never wash him. <sighs> I mean, as long as you agree that it's layers, regardless. Yeah, yeah just like onions, hazard layers. <laughs> yeah, just like onions, they'll make you cry. Uh, uh, uh. There, was a, there was a line from like an episode that we started writing about Egg Boy, and it, I found it so funny. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna find it quickly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just I have my good friend Egg Boy by my side every single day, and boy, is he a good friend! It's nice to have someone who never challenges you on your internal biases and reaffirms everything you think. <laughs> I know, right? That's <laughs> uh, sad, Eggman. <laughs> well, thanks for your question. Thank You're you. Mm. Crimson Mike, Mike, Crimson Shin. Uh, yeah, Crimson Mike. Here comes uh, Crimson I Mike. I believe we, we have another hand already. We do. Oh, and who is it, Tomato Ghost? Uh, oh, I'm on the spot. No, I can't read. It's uh, Nervous Maria the Hedgehog. Come on up. That was a tad of PTSD attacks. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> doing it because I went on a bike walk with my dad. Cool. That's. That's wholesome as heck. I love it. Yeah. Also, um, I got a question for you. What happens if Root steals the Emerald? And then h- how does Knuckles protect the the Chaos Emerald? Say what? H- how does Knuckles uh, keep... Uh, hold on. How does Knuckles keep protecting the, the Chaos Emerald? Yeah, Knuckles, how do you stop your girlfriend from taking the Chaos, uh, the Master Emerald every day? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, th- I, thought, I thought, I thought, I thought every uh, big. I mean, big, big's watching over the island. I thought everything was Gucci. He's um, in prison. Oh, well, they, well, <laughs> well, let's, well, 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 I mean, I don't know. We got a prison on Angel Island as as well. I I, I guess now that's just something I just invented now uh, in my head. Uh, <laughs> if you. <laughs> I think that we need to see. I can yeah, envision it. In the Angel Island. Island. I think. I, I think. I just. I might. I, I might have just given Freggy some ideas. Uh, <laughs> by me. I got. I got a great idea for Knuckles' prison. It's a giant cardboard box that says "stupid asshole box." Pardon my <laughs> <laughs> And Big is in there all think, the time. <laughs> I don't think Knuckles would know how to spell that. Uh, I know. <laughs> he tries his best. We uh we have spelling lessons most. Uh, well, general school for about an hour a day. Yeah. Oh, eventually, yeah. he'll learn to spell his name properly. Aww. Eventually, uh, you know, like, it's, you One know, of these days. <laughs> you know, not yo, know, Knuckles, Angel Island. They both start with a K. This is stupid. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've been over this, Knuckles. The K is silent. Silent. Wait, I'm, what? I'm, I'm Uncle's the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> and uh, man, Anyways, you... that, that is my question. Oh, thanks for your question. 
yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> we, we just got to turn it into a bit. I, I, like, I think like it was awesome. We move. Well, there we go. Well, there I we go. Now, awesome. yeah, I feel enlightened. Well, there we go. Now, I guess for any for any fans that potentially want that as an ID, you got suggestions in the server. <laughs> I mean, it's a simple answer. How, how do you prevent it? Uh, prison. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Idea. yeah. Uh, uh, yes, you do. <laughs> segment in our server, yeah. If you've got an I, I still idea. like the cardboard box idea. <laughs> I mean, that's wonderful. That is yeah. lovely. That's where he sell. That's where he's. Uh, you no, know, he apparently has a job as an ice cream as an ice cream salesman. That that's that's like it's, it, that's it's like a prison ice cream truck. That's like, somehow on fire. That's somehow on fun. That is one thing I also, that is another, that is another thing. That is, that, that is <laughs> some of the lines from that, uh, from the Q and a were great. Were great. Uh, yeah. too. That, like that, like that was one right, right there, which I know, I know for a fact, Dis- I know for a fact, discord hates scream. So it's probably not even going to pick it up. But when I was just like, scream on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I liked when yeah. someone kept asking shadow about Maria and it's like, they would have a normal question and be like, why do you miss Maria? He's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like there's going out of their way to make him feel terrible. <laughs> would you, out, if, you if, if you had a pet, would you name it after Maria? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little talky. Right. Is there any more questions? Let's get them hands up and wave them like you just don't care. Hey, I'm, I'm happy with those questions. Or else I have to ask, I start questioning, questioning, start. I thought, I am, wow, my mouth is left there. Start asking oh, questions. No. I'll try again. Like, I'm going to throw this out in the meantime. Uh, what's Shadow's favorite episode of SpongeBob? Oh, we don't, we'd have to ask him. Yeah, uh, that makes you think, yeah. doesn't it? Or is Wolf Blade when you need him? Oh. <laughs> exactly. And this, this was in the QA. I don't know yeah, if it was uploaded, actually. But, oh, really? Uh, so there is a canon answer. The, the, yeah. the episode where the episode where they say twenty five and left it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good. You know that? Yeah, that makes sense. I like it. Oh, and just like that, I was about to say, I don't all like it, dude. But MB the sheep just chimed in. Fantastic! Come on up. I like. I like, to, I like how. I like how the second you said twenty five, my Discord like froze. First, <laughs> <laughs> twenty five. <laughs> Hello again. Long time Hello. no see. Hello. Long time Whoa. no. It, it, it's it. It feels it feels like it was just an hour ago. Uh, <gasps> that's crazy. Time's so strange Wild. like that. Um. So, question. I guess this is more for the characters, but also this can go for anyone anyway. Um. So cool. I'm a genie. Uh. You get one wish. No rules. No nothing. Uh. What do you wish for? Sonic dead. Mm. Bruh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Very creative. Love it. Mm-hmm. And she said no rules. Um, I did. I did say no rules. Infinite chaos several times so I can be supersonic 100% of the time. And I'm going to pay Eggman a visit with that. And mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. you know what? I deserve that. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. McDonald's shift manager? I love cheeseburgers. Uh, I forgot. What was the question? <laughs> uh, I'm surprised. So for your, I guess for your character... <laughs> it's fine. Uh, your character, basically, uh, you, I have a, I'm a magic genie. You have one wish, no rules. Uh, what you want? I, I wish to be a McDonald's shift manager. <laughs> you know cheese. what? That's fair. Aiming really <laughs> high, aren't you? Hey, Absolutely. Gives the- responsibility he pays the rent and he'll just bring me as much food as i want absolutely absolutely and i and i don't have to wor- and i don't have to worry about the ice cream going on fire because the machine will be broken you know so kill two birds with one yeah. stone what if the ice cream yeah. machine is broken because it's on fire he's got well, you well then uh fire i mean do fire extinguishers not exist in our universe I mean, they probably do. Uh, can you just like try to make me a strawberry shake though before you before you like figure it out? But then wouldn't you, wouldn't the fire extinguisher liquid get mixed up with the ice cream or like the whipped cream, and that would be a whole mess? Uh, I I'll just, just run it off. It's fine. I'm sure we got oh, some gas in the back somewhere. You know. Fair, fair. Uh, does Egg Boy have a wish? I'm not telling you, squat. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. Fair is fair. Anybody else have a wish? Not exclusive. It's not exclusive to characters. 
Ooh. I feel like Tails' wish would just be uh, various um, supplies of a questionable legality. Mm-hmm. 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 That's, that is such a good answer. <laughs> I think shadows. I think shadows would be for Maria to come back to life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I can see that. Mm-hmm. I uh, think. Cream. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Lucifer to come back at something. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, mm. and Eggman be like, "Hey, Lucifer, you might have called you Lou. Listen, I got a guy I want you to take care of." <laughs> no, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> or like, uh, <laughs> um, oh my god, uh, Amy, Amy, Amy uh, wishing for Sonic's hand in marriage again. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna clap right. my hands. Got it. There he goes. Another restraining oh. order. No. <laughs> Poor Sonic. Who what uh, about Big? Mm. Oh. Yeah, what about Big? We would yeah. say Bigs, but then we would lose our rating. Yeah. Oh well, okay. Oh, <laughs> We'd like to, but the tattoo won't let us. I like I like having a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. To quote Yakko Warner, the answer would be good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. That's the most introspective question we've had so far. That really makes you think. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. yeah. yeah. You want yeah I mean, what I mean, do you, do y'all have a wish you'd want? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, for me, uh, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, money. I mean, money's good because I because I'm still broke mm. and uh, yeah, I, I like money's that. pretty good. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I guess. Money. Yeah, I guess maybe. I guess maybe. I guess. Uh, I think I would only need one billion, you know, like I feel like I can make that stretch out for a while. And only uh, just, one super not fair. asking for much. Listen, I mean, listen, like, I, cause it's just think, you know, you know, like, like, you know, the kind of crap you could do with $200 billion. I think 1 billion is all I need. I could buy twice. Yeah. That's true. Very modest. <laughs> it's a small wow. fee. Small that's, fee. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I, Forty-four billion dollars. <laughs> I would go for like I would wish for like um, an unlimited money card, so you can keep spending as much as you want, and the money just never goes. Oh are, my you just, God. are you just one upping one billion with an infinite? <laughs> just crash one billion and one. Absolutely, <laughs> infinite, not the jackal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, let okay. me see. I guess one for me, not for my character. One for me would be um let me see um never ending access to good internet like especially now considering the house i live in it's like it it's serviceable but it could be a lot better uh, mm. uh no nah, i'm definitely like if it wasn't for the internet i wouldn't have a career right <laughs> now so i feel that true my actual wish would probably just be uh if uh the sponsorship process for my wife would be Done and approved, and then she would be living here with me. So that'd be nice. That's yeah. very nice. Yeah. Just a, I would just like that process to be sped up and done with and the moving process. I wish you all the best with that. Yeah. Hmm. That's all, fingers crossed. It all immigration laws. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the best. Social That's commentary. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, <laughs> is, is, is the billion before tax or? Yeah. Uh, there's no tax. I mean, I, oh. I'm a genie with no rules. I'm not going to tax your money. I'm not that. Mad. Oh, good. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll I have abolished the need for taxes. Can the that. IRS still go for genies? Uh, well, I, think, uh, I plead the fifth. Oh, that's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Then. I, think, yeah. I think genies operate outside the realm of uh, you know a traditional economic sector. So, yeah, about, uh, we, have our, genie, we have our own legal genie. system. It's a little weird. Yeah, yeah genie would lit- the genie would just literally be like, "Up oh, yours, FBI." Uh, I don't know why I said that as knuckles. Um, I'll <laughs> <laughs> just be a line now in a future episode. Oh, yours, FBI. Yeah, I'm oh, gonna okay. clip that. Yeah. I'm gonna clip. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but this, oh, this is oh. going to go up on YouTube later. So. <laughs> so. But knuckles would try to evade taxes. Knuckles, how many times have I told you never mess with the IRS? Well, what? My, my ice cream truck keeps going, keeps 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 catching flames. You know, I, I need to, I need to, I'm, I needed to find some uh, other sources, other ways to make income. You know, you okay. Ever- look, look, I've told you in the past. You just take out insurance on it and you commit arson. You commit insurance fraud. They'll never catch you. 
Right. I should have. Oh. Uh, I mean, there was where was this? There was this one. So what was it? A Silk Road, I believe that was a pretty. Oh nice. yeah, that uh, probably should go. Probably should go there. Yeah, you know, Which one of us are supposed to be the bad guy again? I don't know. You don't I use Spark Browser. I plead the fifth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> IRS. I thought you were talking about my eyes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> IRS is that some sort of like trigger to end the world or something? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Don't tell them. Don't tell. Don't tell I'll, Silver. I'll, I would have laughed if a cop car passed by. Well, thank you for indulging my genie wish question. Unless any did it, I miss anybody else's wishes. I got. I no, no, that was everyone. Uh, everyone's yeah. fulfilled. I think yeah. so. All right. Expect your Thank wishes you. in the mail in like two to five business days. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. Uh, bye. That's I'm, how I'm waiting for my magic gathering, gathering cards. I'll keep I'll an eye on. I'll get that I invoice should. on deck. Uh, I should have asked for more yeah. wishes. Yeah, I, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, should, I should have done. I, yeah, wish for more wishes. Damn it. Yeah, done. classic uh, rookie error. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I should have wished for unlimited wishes. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, honestly, I'm yeah, content with my wish. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that's that, that, that's that's a nice wish. Miss, like Mr. Crocker in that one episode, fairly obvious. I <laughs> three more wishes. <laughs> uh, mm. Any more hands? Uh, Any more text not, questions? Not presently. Yeah, I, be- I believe we have a good like twelve minutes left. So you know, twelve minutes. Yes, yeah, really finished already. That was quick. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, time because we usually because we usually do we usually do about. Because usually the ideal time is about two hours. Like sometimes it went later than that, but that's like rare. Uh, oh yeah. Um, but uh, this, yeah. this is medium rare. This one. Absolutely, and uh, man, me- medium rare. Yeah, not yeah, d- definitely. Which much better than well done because that means it doesn't <laughs> taste yeah, like well done. Yeah, yeah, you know, because that yeah, because I'll, I'll I'll take yeah, because well done tastes like beef jerky, and uh, what are we talking about? Uh, Beef jerky. We're talking about, we're talking about meats, apparently. Yeah, meats. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. You will be asked politely but firmly to leave. Yeah, this, you just, you'll, just, <laughs> yeah, 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 you'll, you'll just be, be, just be banned from the store. Uh, <laughs> you committed a crime against humanity. We'll also probably throw a bottle of ketchup at you on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so scandalous. There's your, like, there's your freaking yeah. seasoning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll leave with my well done burger. Oh no, not you, MBU cool. Uh, oh no! no. Uh, God, come on, I, no, I feel bad now. Don't do that. We're talking more about it. I'm talking more about steaks rather than burgers, honestly. Mm. Steaks. Oh, if you yeah. take a steak and just put it in a bun, it works. It yeah. does, yeah. But yeah, right. Uh, uh, I, I guess we, if there's no more questions, we wrap up soon. <laughs> Uh, let, yeah, let me just yeah. help helping you out in the discussion chat real quick for you. <laughs> it's <laughs> we can, if not, I'm sure I can throw out a random question. Oh, you go 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 for it. Yeah, go, go for it. it. We got two minutes. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, I was just gonna say uh, y'all, because y'all the, host, y'all the host, you can do that. <laughs> I have the power. It's finally. Uh, so, given the fact that we now have an official Sonic TV series that. Is it focuses knuckles? It's this slice of life with weird, over the top things in it. Would there be anything from the Knuckles series that might help inspire or influence anything in future episodes? That is an interesting Ooh. question. Oh. Mm. <laughs> knuckles puppet. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the knuckles, knuckles puppet has to be one. Abs- abs- <laughs> knuckles puppet, yeah, for sure. Uh, no, I'm just. I'm just uh, oh God, it's my ex. <laughs> well, wait, wait! Did, did, oh, now did we, we have predict to. that, guys? Did, did we predict yes. that? Yes, we did. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! Yeah, I just realized. Yeah, you, you that that came out like four months before the show did. We have to, <laughs> right? Or we probably well, have to, I was say, that was four months before the show. But like, was the the leaked photo set of the Knuckles puppet still like circulating when we made that episode? Oh, I, I have no. I didn't look at them. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely know the produ- I definitely know the production. I definitely know it was in production before that episode came out. So I don't know. Probably. <laughs> um, oh uh, man. In uh, any case, um, probably not. That's fair. That's probably for the best. Oh, um, 
just imagining oh, something like that. I'd want to use from that. Oh, so you can see Wade. Yeah, I'm about to say, imagine like um, Wade Whipple making a cameo or something. Pistol Pete, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wade comes into the show. Hey, Knuckles. Let's yeah. just give Knuckles his hat, and then no one ever questions why the hat got put there. <laughs> Sonic and Wade show. And then when Wade. somebody does ask about the hat, everyone else, every other character just gaslights them about the hat. It's like, he's always had the hat. What are you talking about? <laughs> he's always had the hat. <laughs> 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 Who is this pistol? Pistol. 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 That could be our. That could be our justification pistol for going him in the show. We just rename him to Pistol Pete. Pistol yeah. Pete. I mean, everything would be improved by more Pistol Pete. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't even have to have a specific. Re- he, he doesn't even have to be a specific. It could just. It could just be like just a little, like just a brief gag. <laughs> Absolutely, oh, I'm all f- oh. hand. Hand yes. is raised. It, it took Radar. Pistol Pete. Radar, come, come on, on, come oh, on my, down. My, my man Radar, come on, come on up the hey. Lord. Hello. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hello. I know this person. Uh, apologies for being so late. Uh, today was one of the days I decided to go out with the fam. I completely no forgot about the times and nearly missed this. It's all That's good. Okay. I hope you had fun with your family. Oh, it was it, it was just nice, just a little movie outing. Mm-hmm. Movie you got to see. Uh, but yes, hi, it's nice to see you guys. Some I recognize, some I'm meeting for the first time. The three, yes, yeah. yeah. I really just wanted to ask just a general question, and yes, wouldn't you believe it? It's Sonic related. Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> How dare! How dare! <laughs> I know, so unoriginal, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm certainly hoping that um, uh, no one's a- uh, asked this, but I wanted to uh, simply ask um, what with a lot of stuff happening in the uh, in the future for Sonic, I wanted to ask um, what are you guys just most excited about? Uh, you know, anything from like the games and stuff or uh, the comics, movie three. I just want to know what what what's got you most excited in uh, the Sonic space? Mm. Um, I'd probably have to say movie three, but also the added chaser of that shadow animation that they teased like a couple of days. Oh. ago. Yeah, yeah, there's that. Oh. Um, let me see. There's that. Um, I am very curious about how that writer's arc for the IDW comics is going to turn out. Yeah. It's going to turn out because I'm a big fan of like the writer stuff, especially the first game. Hmm. And um, this isn't so much something that's like already confirmed, but just me holding out hope for that they finally decide to port Dream Team to consoles because I really want to play that game. Yeah, it does look fun. I just hate that it's only on like Apple phones. I know. I just like like I get the feeling it won't be Apple exclusive forever because I can think of like a bunch of games that start on Apple, but eventually get ported to consoles like uh, the last Shantae game. Hmm. I'm also fairly confident in that just because they're still rolling out updates for um, the game. They came out with a new level. So hopefully uh, when hopefully when it stops being an exclusive, we'll still get more out of it by that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a full package sort of thing. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Like a like a director's cut sort of. Yeah. Mm. The yeah, last version yeah. on Switch yeah. 2 and it'll be fun. But then a bunch of people will complain. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Probably. Most likely. Thank you. Um, for... Sorry, so, I guess right now the thing I'm most excited for is, is movie three. Um I do usually prefer the games, but there's not any like big games to look forward to at the moment. There is the Shadow, Shadow Generations thing. But that's like a smaller like side thing, so like whatever. Mm. So yeah, I definitely mm. say movie three at the moment. For, for me, I would say um I mean, there's a, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of things. I mean, movie three is easily like at the top of the list. Uh, <laughs> my bias as a shadow fan definitely helps with that. Uh, Cause I, I, you know, and of course I've just, I've just loved what they've done with the, uh, the movies so far, like kind of the progression that they've had. And, and of course, you know, Jeff Fowler, the director literally worked on the, the cut scenes for shadow, the hedgehog. So it's like, I, I feel like, I feel like, you know, a shadow fans are in good hands in that regard. I, like I know man, uh, man's going to be in his element. 
Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, and, you know, Paramount is not beyond killing children. So I, I, <laughs> Maria is definitely going to be utilized. Uh, the quotes uh, from this one are beautiful. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I missed out on some unhinged moments today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. Well, I, I've, I've, I'm probably I'm a few of them. Um, I think I think you're all of them. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess, I guess so. Uh, it's, it's, I just, uh, yeah. but anyway, uh, how about the? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, I guess um, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe. Uh, you know, I, I'm, 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 I signed up to be a beta tester for Sonic Rumble. So ah right. uh, yes, that's also a thing. Oh yeah, yeah the so, Sonic Rumble yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm that completely I'm I'm completely ignoring the Discord server. <laughs> but I absolutely looking looking forward to actually testing the um the uh no offense to Sega, uh but I'm definitely uh uh looking forward to being able to try that out for myself. I know Sonic X Shadow Generations or Sonato Generations as I've been called forward uh. to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I already, I already, if remix was in the audience somewhere, I knew that I know they, they, they their head would probably explode. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, um, but, uh, that's literally, I literally, that's literally, that's like the running joke me and her have for it's calling Sonato. But, um, I mean, and there's like, I mean, there's a but, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, I got my, I mean, sure, I've had my own legitimate gripes with some, things here and there but i mean i'm otherwise been pretty excited i mean i also like what what hyper was mentioning about the idw comics i'm i'm, I'm a couple issues behind but i'm definitely but i'm definitely looking for what they do with writers are as well because like like literally those uh i think i, I think you were, I, I think we were literally like talking about it in like space the uh, a few days back or uh, like the other day or something like that where, where i got to see like where we saw like some of the uh covers and i'm Damn, I I can't wait to, can't wait to see what they do with, do with this. Yeah, is that everybody? Oh, yeah, I believe so. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess that did answer my question. Yeah, I'm also excited. Like you guys, kind of just summarized a lot of my thoughts. However, there is also another thing that's coming out this year. I'm, um, uh, we're getting another. It's been confirmed. We're getting another uh, classic Sonic comic. Uh, another 30th anniversary. After all. 30 years ago oh. was 1994. So yeah. uh, coincidentally, the year I was coincidentally, the year I was born. Uh, uh, so uh, I can assume you can put two and two together. Oh, uh, yes. The mm. year of Josh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I'm in the, I'm, my OC is in the comics now. You, you, I've just been found out. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, man. It's going to be great. The year of Josh. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Year of Josh. Yes. Yeah, there we go. The year of the year of Josh. Yeah, so let's get that trending. Why not? Beat anniversary Hashtag special. Hashtag year of Josh. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Andrew, Andrew, what in the hell did you put in this? <laughs> wait, you don't like Jubus Goobus? Oh, 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 that took me a second. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's, I guess it's, it's, it's well, let me see the thing real quick. It's that picture. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I almost MD. forgot about that. Josh. It's like <laughs> I actually like that. Yeah, they don't like it, so I'm not gonna do it again. It's not fair. <laughs> uh yeah, that that can wow. I am totally looking back on the VOD for this one. Thanks, guys, for answering the question. <laughs> Absolutely. It, it will be it, thank you very much. Will be, you will Cheers be going up on YouTube. Yes. See, see, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> and uh Well, I think that's the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Off last bomb, we're having fun. And appar- apparently yeah. apparently this is now apparently this I mean somebody has to think this is my year. Shoot. I'll I'll <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I do. It's okay. Yeah. I believe in you. Just <laughs> make that make that as a <laughs> Have that as like an Easter egg for an episode or something. Just, <laughs> yeah, it's my so just, sneak, just sneak a picture of my OC on the bookshelf. <laughs> the year of Josh. I mean, you can put that the picture on. You can put that other picture on the on the shelf. Yeah, I know. Do- yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry to put Doom on this. Uh, Doom on the spot. I know they had. I know they put in an entry. Funny enough, with my 
<laughs> with uh, my OC and Knuckles. I don't know if they're oh, there yeah. anymore. Yeah, I saw all. that. If they want to put if they want to put that in the in the show discussion for anyone that wants to, I just want to give them a shout out real quick. Uh, <laughs> yes, that one, that oh, one right there. there. Should I be that worried one. about that? Oh, that's cool. Uh, I love that. I just that is this this woman is a legend. That is a work of art. There it is, the year of Josh. The yeah. year of Josh. Josh and Knuckles. Josh and yeah. Knuckles. Josh and Knuckles. And they mysteriously the sound favorite. very similar. Mm. Yeah, hey, I'm, my favorite ship. I'm I'm low key, I'm low key just low key froggy. I'm just ima- I'm just imagining what like my O's that would look like now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's the end of the show. Yep. Um Thank you for coming for this Q&A. It was wonderful. Does That's anyone have anything good. like last words? <laughs> Any last words? Any last words? <laughs> uh, uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, enjoyed talking about it. I uh, don't, don't really do this sort of stuff often. So thanks for having me. Yeah, mm. it's from, I think it's been very enlightening. Yeah. Mm. It's, been, it's been a lot of, yeah, this is definitely a lot of fun. I'm glad. I'm glad that we were able to do this too. Cause like, I mean, I obviously, I, 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 of course, like, I, cause I, I, of course talk with hyper and Andrew over here quite a bit, both, uh, bo- both and <laughs> words, you get what I mean? I, like, I talk with hyper and Andrew quite a bit. This is this, but like me and Freggy don't really get to like, Freggy stays really, Freggy stays really busy. So we don't really get to like, yeah. talk very often. So I, I, so that's another thing I like about this is, is it's, one of the few times, one of the few times we're in the same place. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we did. This is great. And of course, and of course, uh, you know, and of course, Andrew and, and of course, you know, <laughs> Andrew and uh, tomato y'all, you know, I think y'all did phenomenal as hosts. Phew. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, just to, just to throw that out there. I know this is, I know, it just, it just, it just, like, I like to, I like to, you know, give credit to the the people that help keep let the, you know, keep the flow going. And you mm. get, yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, anything else from you know, Hyper? Do you want to say anything? Or? Um, I mean, I'm I'm personally good. I I've, I've had a pretty fun time going through this with you guys. It was fun. Really contemplating, not contemplating, but like reminiscing on some of the things that people asked about the show and whatnot, and just yeah, it's just overall fun. Don't really have much more to say on top of that. Yeah, nice. And now I'm just waiting. What about you, Andrew? It was it was a fun time. I uh, I liked how we got just the right level of unhinged in some moments, but we, we kept kept it PG. <laughs> no one got yeah. arrested or canceled. It was great time. Yeah. I mean, that's Absolutely. the perfect balance. I'm, I'm honestly, yeah. so, given what I'd be saying, sometimes I'm surprised I haven't been canceled. Uh, <laughs> Shame about Maria uh, Junior, though. Tragic, <laughs> truly and, tragic. And now I'm just waiting. Now I'm just waiting to see. Now I'm just have that. Let's just have that. Now, now I'm low-key wanting to do like a year of Josh challenge just to see what come, just to see what people come up. Josh. We need fat out now. It's like yeah, the Josh right now. Year of Josh fat <laughs> Year of Josh. <laughs> With the Josh battle, we can only be one Josh. <laughs> we must see this. <laughs> um, right. Um, so the next panel was supposed to be all bought on Qbot's improvised voice challenge, but that's been delayed and moved to another date, which we will announce at some point. But the next panel coming up is Sonic and Amy two on May twenty second at seven pm Eastern Ooh. time. So that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. So it's fun with Sonic and Amy. So absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, which which makes yeah. which makes the fact which makes the fact you are the host for this even funnier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Thank, thank you for, for coming, coming and listening, and it's been a good old time. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's mm-hmm. get hash. Let's get hashtag year of Josh trending. Year of Josh, everyone. Josh. <laughs> Josh generations. Absolutely. <laughs> Josh generations. Sonic X Josh, Josh generations. Josh, 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 Josh,
from a, a wear a wear a wear bear anything. form of my OC. I need that to happen. Now. Josh Frontiers. That's beautiful. <laughs> Featuring John Josh Arf- Collins. Josh Collins. <laughs> Josh Rush. All right. <laughs> No, you, you, you get Josh Colors, but instead it's just a video of Josh's like bear persona doing a Bob Ross skit. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> I love that. That'd be brilliant. Yes, please. Yeah. Josh and Knuckles, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> how do we how do we end this thing? <laughs> I we... Got, I, hold on, I, hold on, I got hold on, I got you. Uh, Save all us. Alrighty. Uh, Alrighty.